Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. We've got something a little different today. Well, maybe not that different, but a little special, I guess. This is uh, Sam Adams's Spacecraft IPA. This is actually made with hops that have been orbited. Uh, let's see, came in this nice pretty little box from uh, GiveThemBeer.com. As far as I know, that's the only way to get it. Maybe you can get it from the brewery but I don't think it's being sold in a lot of local stores around here. So, um, yeah, ordered from GiveThemBeer.com. And they did have a contest on their Facebook page to name this beer. Um, again, the, the, the hops were orbited on one of the commercial space flights, and so they, they put it out there, you know, they're looking for a name. Now, I suggested Pioneering Spirit. You know, let's think of something that was kind of the impetus that drove... Uh, space flight and craft beer is that pioneering spirit that a lot of human beings have and it ties back to our roots of exploration etc etc but you know spacecraft is fucking neat too right anyway nobody liked my idea so maybe I'm the only one who's disappointed but anyway, uh, Hops in Space, this out-of-this-world beer began, sorry, the text is a little blurry here, um, began its journey with hops that traveled over 300 miles above Earth on the first ever all-civilian space mission with Inspiration 4. Now, if that's the all-civilian one, I think that's actually the same capsule that William Shatner was on, um, but correct me if I'm wrong there. These orbited hops propel the stellar West Coast style IPA, awesome, that's landed in your hand. Firm bitterness with generous tropical notes of grapefruit, guava, and passion fruit co pilot classic. Piney, sorry, like I said, the text is a little blurry. I don't know if that was a printing issue or if it just kind of suffered from the being shipped up. Maybe it's dust, I don't know. And resiny hop aromatics. So get the crew, drink up, and have a blast. Uh, Samuel Adams is the official beer of inspiration for the first all-civilian mission to orbit. And Spacecraft is the out-of-this-world West Coast-style IPA brewed with hops from the momentous space flight in celebration of the inspirational inspiration for mission sam adams will donate one hundred thousand dollars one hundred thousand dollars to support jared isaacman's challenge to raise two hundred million dollars for saint jude children's research hospital awesome just like we answered the call to support the Inspiration4 mission on social media, we turned to our fans and followers to help us name this special release. Yeah, we received over 5,000 entries from across the universe. Samuel Adams, Brewers, and the Inspiration4 crew agreed Spacecraft was that perfect name to represent this epic beer journey to your hands. Take a sip and follow along. All right. Four pack, I think with shipping included, this came to just under 25 bucks. So not bad. I'm gonna close this back up. I don't know, I might keep this as a, as a collector's item. And I, I think I'm gonna tag this video as an unboxing because I officially just unboxed it. Made with orbited hops, 6.2% ABV, 50 IBUs, 16 ounce. Yeah, and this is just the same write-up that was on the box. I could have just opened this up and read this because this is not as blurry. All right, so lovely, lovely can art on there. I'm really liking it.
Now, I'm no botanist or any other sort of space expert or plant expert, but I don't believe that actually being in zero G for a small amount of time is going to affect any of the characteristics of any particular hops. Now, maybe if they were grown in zero G, something interesting might have happened to them, but... I'm getting this odd, almost dank, citrusy aroma from back here. So even at 50 IBUs, it seems like it's pretty potent. It looks kind of hazy too. Thought I had my finger on the button there. All right. Wow, that is a juicy looking beer. Look at that, it's nice and slightly pale yellow, but it's it's got a, a pretty robust yellowish color to it down here, but where the beer gets thicker in the glass, it fades to a kind of a brownish orange, maybe a burnt orange, but it's very, very hazy. A few bubbles coming up from that nucleation point in the bottom there. There's probably more in the column. Yeah, there's a, lot, a couple of different places where they're coming up. So it's fairly effervescent, but not overly so. Retaining a pretty decent head. I got a halfway decent one on there. Whacked myself on the nose with that. That was smooth. Now they mentioned resiny notes on the uh, on the label. I'm smelling more well, like a dankness, but I'm getting. Serious citrus and pine. I, I'm more keyed towards citrus and pine, so I'm going to pick up on those more than any other hop esters as well. I'm just noticing this. Can't see it on the can, but on the top of the box, Inspiration 4 actually kind of looks like a bullet flying through space, which maybe that was intentional. I don't know. Well, aerodynamically, it's partly intentional anyway. It's got a nice medium mouthfeel. It's got some serious body to it without being too much. It's quite smooth. It's going down fairly easy. Um, up front, it's got a certain crispness to it. Almost evocative of the zero temperature uh, what is it? The cold void of space. <laughs> the uh, particular terminology escapes me right now, but space is at a certain temperature. Um, I think it's absolute zero, maybe, which isn't to indicate that it's zero degrees on any scale of temperature, but absolute zero is the, the negative X number of degrees where... Um, I don't know, absolute zero is where all atomic motion ceases, I believe, and we know that that's not true of space, but we thought it was at one point. All right, I'm going to stop trying to science this, and we're just going to talk about the fucking beer. And I'm going to stop trying to be poetic. They should have sent a poet to do this review, I guess. Catch that reference if you can. Mm, pardon um, so yeah, up front, it's just got this nice, crisp, smooth, it's a nice, crisp, smooth experience, but then as you swallow it, <clears throat> you're getting this big explosion of hops, um, and at first... You're just getting an overall hoppy bitterness, but then it resolves itself to, pardon, pine, citrus, and what I described as dank in the aroma, I can definitely see where they're saying it is more of a resiny flavor, because it's like this mild dankness that gives me an overall hoppy bitterness, but it, it the flavor is somehow reminiscent of oils, which we know that 
pop oils are where all of this flavor comes from. Um, yeah, I guess I would say resiny more than dank, but I'm getting distinct like light dankness to it, if that makes any sense at all. Um, pardon. I'm not getting any particular malty character, but I can tell that it's got a decent backbone to it. Maybe um, maybe a light graininess in there somewhere. But just a nice, clean finish, too. And I'm not getting a lot of those hop esters, like, lingering. Like, you know, some IPAs... All you can taste is hops for an hour or so after you've drank it. This is fading pretty quickly. I mean, I would definitely cleanse the palate with water if I was going to be um, reviewing or sampling or just trying to taste any other beers after this, just because it is an IPA. But it's not lingering. It's not hanging out. Overall, I think I'm going to hit this with a 4 out of 5. And I'm going to be honest, it's getting some extra points just because of the, the novelty factor and the fact that, you know, it was slightly exclusive and, and difficult to get a hold of. Um, actually, I thought <laughs> I, I thought this was going to show up in rough shape because there was a shipping delay twice from FedEx and they said an exception had occurred. So I was like, oh, crap. They dropped it. Pardon but uh, luckily somebody was home when it was dropped off and I was able to say, hey, uh, please bring it in the house because it was left in the garage and this is central Maine. So it was definitely below freezing today. And that's all I could picture is maybe it arrived safely and then the cans would explode when they froze. But we were able to get it in the house. And uh, anyway, <laughs> I got off track there. Yeah, definitely a four out of five, and again, it's getting some points for the novelty factor, and um, but on top of that, I really can't find anything about this beer that I don't like. Uh, it's a really solid, well put together IPA. It's got some decent flavor. It's got some character to it. So you know, it's not quite blowing me away or or making me go wow, but. Again, I can't find anything that I don't like about it either. So it's sitting at that solid 4 out of 5. Just no wow reaction. But again, it's it's also it's different and unique. So I'm, I'm really getting a kick out of having it. So I'll probably save one or two or maybe even three of these. I think I'll drink at least one more tonight. But anyway, that's just what I have to say about it. Hit me up down below in the comments or the email link down there. Let me know what you think about spacecraft. Tell me if you think my name was better or if I'm just full of myself. Um, while you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click on that little bell, note, bell icon so that you get a notification whenever I post a new one. Until next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.